what's going on you guys today I'm gonna to be reviewing one of the weirdest discs I have ever seen the Vibram unlace now back in the day I used to have a Vibram putter and I tried it out I remember I tried it for like a couple months I didn't really stick with it too long Vibram's been out of production for disc golf discs for a while now when I got this disc I thought it was going to be stiff plastic similar to that putter I had years ago now that you see the disc, look how flexible it actually is. And this is actually a wide rim driver. I mean, if I close my eyes, it feels like I'm holding a destroyer or a 12 speed driver almost. Now, before I throw it, there's some interesting things on the underside. There's a little diagram that says minus 12. So I assume that means understable. I don't know, but there's also a plus four. So it has some finish on it. I don't really know what to expect. But it also says, which is kind of hard to see, that you get the minus 12 and plus four flight if you throw it 44 miles per hour. So I don't know what the heck to expect. It's also 164 grams. Honestly, it feels closer to like 170-ish, but it is in great shape. It's got like this extra finish on the edge. Maybe that's just because this plastic is very durable. It doesn't really look too used. I think it was in dirt or something. It got cleaned off, but the, it has like no scratches or anything on it. And I don't know how old this disc actually is. You can comment down below. Throw it like 60%, like if I want to throw 380 or something. See what happens. Oh, shoot. All right, hopefully I wasn't in the way for that. And it's a little bit cloudy out, it might be hard to see, but that thing just turned into a roller. So let's go ahead and throw it a few more times. So far, this disc seems pretty understable. I'm gonna try a sidearm with it and I'm gonna throw it like high. And I think it'll have enough time to like come out of it. We've got a wind that's kind of left to right. So I feel like that might help at hyzer. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it high hyzer, see if it flips up and has a nice flight for us. Oh. All right, so that wasn't the best sidearm throw. I'm gonna give it another try. Okay. Well, I tried to throw it a little bit faster. I think I had a good angle, but that thing just wobbled out of my hand, kind of like the gum putt. And we have a right to left wind, so it's gonna kind of help us a little bit. And let's just see if we can get a full flight. I'm gonna go 360 here. Oh, come on now. All right, guys, after that 360 throw, I had to look for this thing for about maybe two hours. Like this field over here is real tall and thick. And I thought, okay, there's no way that I'm not gonna be able to find it. It didn't go that far, but it was buried under some grass. I'm thankful I found it. You know, it didn't really do anything to the disc itself. It just has some grass on it. We're kind of at the highest point in the field. So this is the place to do it. I'm gonna try. Let's see what we can do. No, oh, so close. All right, guys, let's try a grenade now. This should be a great grenade flip disc. Um, let's just see what happens. All right, guys, the Vibram Unlace, easily the most understable distance driver I've ever thrown. This has to be one of the most understable molds. And maybe it has to do something with the plastic, but I'm really thinking it's not. And it has to do something with how this is shaped. Anyways, guys, if you want to pick up this disc or other rare disc golf discs, check out my eBay shop. First link in the description. Anyways, guys, I'm going to try and lay off this one and see if we can't get a full flight. I'll, I'll go like super hyzer flip you know, 50% power, let's see what happens. And honestly, this would be way easier if I was throwing sidearm, because I like to throw that angle a lot, but bear with me if it's not perfect. All right, 126 steps, 378 feet. Honestly, I hardly threw that thing, so. This might be for you if you have a weak arm. 